For today's video, we're going to be doing a walkthrough of the new Into the Storm Encore quest line. But there are a couple of things I should mention first. All of us are going to be getting 1600 seasonal gold as a thanks for our patience during their extended downtime last week. I was able to get it as soon as I logged in. I saw a little present and when I opened it, I got 1600 gold. They did mention that it may not appear on your first login. If that's the case, then you may need to relaunch the application. And if you still haven't gotten it, then you may need to access the event store for your gold to appear. So everybody's going to be getting 1600 free seasonal gold. Also beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight, which is April the 19th, everybody's going to be getting one free Into the Storm Llama every day starting today all the way up till April the 22nd. So everybody's going to be getting a total of four free Into the Storm Llamas. Now one important thing I should point out when it comes to these free llamas is that they will not stack and they will rotate out when a new one rotates in. So you must log in every day and collect your free llama in order to get all four free llamas. And again that begins tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the last thing I wanted to go over is that if you look in the sky you'll see a comet and that comet's not new it's been there for a few days but one thing that I noticed that is new is that the comet appears to be breaking off you can sort of see like a little meteor shower beneath the comet and that was another thing i wanted to point out i'm not sure if too many people noticed that while playing if you look up and stare at the comet long enough you should see a little meteor shower anyways next up i wanted to go over the new into the storm encore quests and there's a total of six new quests there's four on the fourth event page and there's a total of two new quests on the fifth event page Starting off with the first quest, this one's called I Spy. And for this one, you're gonna have to find six broken telescopes that we can use to construct a telescope array. And the reward for this is 500 storm tickets. And you're gonna wanna go to either a city, suburb, or industrial zone. I completed this one on the Destroy the Encampments mission in an industrial zone. It did take me a couple of missions to complete this quest, so I'm not sure if you can complete it within just one mission. But going into the industrial zone, it took me two missions to complete it. And all you have to do for this one is just explore the map until you see the yellow exclamation marks appear. And it seemed like most of these telescopes were on top of buildings. So again, just explore the map, go to every yellow exclamation mark you see. And that's how I was able to complete this first quest. Now the second quest is called What's a Payphone? And for this one, you're going to have to find seven public payphones that smart hoverboards are calling and retrieve the data. And the reward for this is 500 storm tickets. And it says it can be found in city, suburb, or industrial zones. And I tried both the city and industrial zones and it seemed like the city zone was better for this quest because I was able to find more public payphones. but it did take me a couple of missions to complete this quest. But you may be able to complete this within just one mission by going to the city. Just like with the previous quest, you're going to want to explore the map until you see the yellow exclamation marks appear. And once you see one, all you have to do is walk up to it and answer the phone call. And again, you have to find a total of seven public pay phones. And that's how I was able to complete this one. The third quest is called Iron Van. And for this one, you're going to have to find 30 insulators from power transformers around the world. And the reward for this one is 100 V-Bucks. And the best place you can go to is any industrial zone. The mission I used to complete this one was a rescue the survivors mission in an industrial zone. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the three items you're going to want to look for. The first type of transformer that can drop an insulator is this blue electrical box that you see right here. You can also destroy these big green transformers as well. Sometimes they'll drop a couple of insulators. And you can also get insulators from these green power boxes as well. So those are the three types of items you're going to have to destroy in order to get these insulators. It did take me a couple of missions to complete this quest, but the best zone you can go to is the industrial zone. The fourth quest is called Steel Icarus. And for this one, you're going to have to launch Lars beyond the wall of clouds and the reward is 500 storm tickets. And in order to complete this one, you're going to have to do a ride the lightning mission. A few minutes after you start the mission, you'll start seeing these construction bots appear around the map. And you're going to have to locate a total of six construction bots. And I don't think you have to actually explore the map in order to get them to appear. I believe they're going to appear automatically after a few minutes. And you're going to want to find those construction bots before you start the mission. Once you've found all six, you'll then have to go back to Lars's van. And you'll see a new option that says upgrade van. And once you upgrade the van, there's going to be some voice acting. 
And after about a minute or two, you'll be given the option to activate the van and complete the Ride the Lightning mission like you normally would. So yeah, for this one, all you have to do is a Ride the Lightning mission and locate six construction bots. And then once you found all six, you'll have to upgrade the van and then complete the mission like you normally would. Now the fifth quest is called Van Down. And for this one, you're gonna have to find five server clusters in the world and use them for some number crunching. And the reward for this is 500 storm tickets. And you're going to want to either go to a city or industrial zone. I was able to complete this quest within just one build the radar mission that was in an industrial zone. And all you have to do for this one is explore the map until you see yellow exclamation marks appear. And it seems like these servers were located near survivors most of the time. So again, just explore the map till you see those yellow exclamation marks. And when you see one, all you have to do is walk up to it and access the server. And that's how I was able to complete this one. And as for the final quest, this one's called Reunion Tour. And for this one, you're going to have to defend the telescope array, which is four telescopes, while they are observing the sky. And the reward for this one is the choice between a legendary version of Bulletstorm Jonesy, Heavy Base Kyle, Ted Shot Jess, and Harvester Sarah. So if there's a new cyberpunk hero that you haven't gotten yet, you'll be able to select it after completing this final quest. And in order to complete it, you're going to have to go to the Survive the Storm area. Once you go there, you'll notice that there's a new option that says Watch the Skies. And this is basically a new type of defense mission. And I'm not going to show the entire gameplay. If you all would like to see the gameplay, let me know in the comments below and I can upload it later tonight. One thing I did want to point out though, is that once you place the four telescopes, there's going to be a seven minute timer. And that's how much time you're going to have to build around the four telescopes. And once that seven minutes is up, you're going to have to defend the four telescopes for a total of six minutes. And again, if you all would like to see the entire gameplay of this new Watch the Skies mission, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Anyways, once I completed the Watch the Skies mission, I got a level five loot chest and I was able to get some hero and survivor XP as well as some gold and some people. And like I said, you'll also be given the option to choose between one of the four new cyberpunk heroes. And I already have three of these heroes. We've gotten gameplay with two of them. The only one that I haven't gotten yet is Ted Shot Jess. So that's the one that I selected. And we also got a thousand storm tickets. And that sums up all of the new quests as well as all of their rewards. Again, if you all would like to see gameplay of that new Watch the Skies mission, let me know in the comments below. I hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching.